if this whole notion of what is considered racist and what's not actually a primitive factor in our decisions every single day it's uncle luke right the dude that made hoeing in the black community okay without uncle luke there would be no trick daddy no trina no little kim no ho celebrating rap music all the way to modern time of a sexy red and he's standing in his court saying that because you're black xyz lebron james is a villain why because he has all black representation kyrie urban is a villain because he stands as a black man the brother over there at boston he's a villain Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Abdul was a villain. The, 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 the little girl Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. Angel Reese is a villain. That's why people subscribe to that. You guys don't know that's how America works. I, Luther Campbell, I am a villain. I'm a bad guy. That's why when you look at my profile, bad boy hip hop, I will never get into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Puff Daddy was not a villain; he was one of them. Kanye West was not was one of them. Jay Z was one of them. Biggie Smalls a villain. Tupac a villain. We all are villains, and until you people realize that. As, As black, black people, people in America, America you, you are the villain. villain. You are, is it's black and white. white. You're, You're the opposite, opposite of white. white. We, we will, will always be in competition, competition with them. them. Y'all don't hear me. LeBron James. And I like to say competition can be healthy. Everybody's in competition. All YouTubers are in competition with each other, even though they want to say they're friends and you're crazy for saying we're in competition and you're crazy. No, everybody's in competition with each other. Black people are in so much in competition with each other to where the biggest loser in the white area can actually suppress them because we're so focused on each other. Everything is a competition. Everything is a yin and a yang. You think we'd be interested in Travis Kelsey? If Taylor Swift didn't take him from a black woman, no. That's a marketing plot. Everything is a yin and yang. But I don't want to grow up and live my life every day focusing on that yin and yang. Saying that, you know what, because I'm black, I'm at a disadvantage. Because I'm black. And I think I told the story a couple of days ago about my cousin. My cousin, great athlete. Great athlete very egotistical won't open her mouth to ask for help or anything at an important game for the school instead of her opening her mouth and saying hey my mom is poor i was not able to afford any new shoes can anybody on the team lend me some or will a coach buy me some of course they will you're the star athlete but because you didn't open your mouth and ask for help and because you're black, you couldn't do that because you're black and you're poor and you're afraid people are going to judge you based on your skin color, based on your socioeconomic st status. You begin to self-sabotage. She didn't ask nobody for help. She went out there, shoes ripped in the middle of a game. When everybody's depending on you to win the game, your shoes ripped. Instead of you accepting from your teammates, hey, I got an extra pair of shoes. Let me give you this so we can win the game. You're lashing out and saying everybody's laughing at you and picking at you because you're racist. Because they're racist, I mean. And race ain't have nothing to do with it. Again, I do believe racism exists. But just because you're black, we got to stop with that. We got to stop leading with that. We got to stop teaching our kids to lead a house with that. Because that translates and that carries on. And that puts us inherently at a disadvantage in society. We got to stop with that. It's not cool. It's not appropriate. If you have done everything that you can possibly do to get that job, that position, get wherever you want to get in life, and there are systems holding you back, then that is racism. But just because you're black and because you, you pray to God, this car marks the society that black people live in, and it don't manifest and come to you. No, you didn't put in the work to do it. Put in the work and if it don't come to you You got people holding you back That's racism Specifically I have a supporter that was like uh, I got vending machines 
I got ATM machines. I'm like, oh, how do you get the ATM machines? Oh, I made sure I took care of my credit and did what I needed to do, and it's connected to a bank. And I couldn't go to the regular banks. I had to go to the federal bank because they want to prove me at the regular banks. It is the federal government, the same government that deliberated black people with the anti-Ku Klux Klan law, Civil Rights Act, that is. You had to go to federal banks. You couldn't go to the regular banks. That's racism. That's redlining. Because if you tell me I need a credit score of this and this is how much I can finance a loan for and you see these people working within the systems and the institutions making discretionary choices based on your race, that's racism. We got to call that out. Call the bad actors out working for the systems to keep you down. Don't just be like, because I'm born, racism is taking over and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, the, you're, you're self-sabotaging before you leave the house. Before you go to that diversified school, you already defeated. You already think less of yourself. Condemn systems and institutions, not people. And definitely don't condemn yourself. Saying because you're black and because you're a black man and you're successful, you're a threat, you're a problem. Uncle Luke, if they wanted you, they would have been got you. They would have been got you if they wanted you. Absolutely. The shit they doing to Diddy, they could have did to you 30 years ago, nigga. Close your mouth, close your big, you're irrelevant. Niggas is not standing 10 toes behind you, okay? We like to raise the roof and do all that other shit, you know, because I am from the Southeast and I appreciate the music. But this day and age with baddies and shit like that, bro, I don't appreciate people taking on the imagery and the representation of what Uncle Luke's music is. Man, I didn't know what it meant when I was a kid. And the people that was grown, they knew what it meant. They ain't give a fuck. They twerking and all this shit. 30 years later, I'm a kid. I'm like, I, I was really pumping and praising this type of exploitation. Now I know why they had to go to court to put the sticker on the CDs, you know? So he is not the right person. He is wrong. He's almost like a Jaguar, right? You know? Right message, wrong messenger. At this point in time, sir, be quiet. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please hit the like, please hit the like, and let me know what you guys think about Uncle Luke in the comments below.